All right, so I'm going to do a quick demonstration. Someone wanted to know about the absorbency of the pad based off my last video that I did. Um, so I'm going to show you. So this is the regular pads that I use, that I was using. As you can see here, most of the pads, it doesn't have a seal on it. So when you think about putting it inside of your purse, anything that's in your purse, change, um, makeup, it gets inside this pad. And a lot of times you take them because you where you are, you need it, and you're trying to shake it off and shake whatever's in here. And then you turn around and then you use it. So then you're using it and you're putting it against your body. So this pad, this is super long overnight. So this is what I used to have to wear on a daily basis during the day as well as overnight. Um, so we see how thick this is. See that it is super long and it has the tabs on it along with the wings. So it's basically like wearing a diaper for women. This is a diaper. This is what we had to wear every day. So when you look at the back of it, it's, it's plastic. Um, it doesn't really breathe that well. But we're going to take it apart and see exactly what is on the inside of it. So let's tear into it and see. Trying to make it so you all can see. All right. So all of this <laughs> This is um, <clears throat> supposed to be the cotton. I don't really know what all of this is, but <laughs> it's a lot of dust in here. And then it kind of crumbles up when you take that stuff out of there. Um, yeah. So then if you look at the the layers that are on this thing, <clears throat> sorry, that's just like <clears throat> really dusty. So if you look at the layer that's on this thing, it does have some little breathable things in here, but I really don't know what it's made of. Oh, it's, I don't know what kind of, what this is, but um, you see every time you shake, it just kind of dust up and then it just crumbles together. What I've read is that a lot of this is just trash. It's old um, trash and cotton that they've kind of pushed together uh, to make this padding. Um, it's recycled actually is what they say that it is. So what I'm gonna do is just for GP purposes, we wanna see how absorbent this is because this is supposed to be the absorbency of this particular pad. Well, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in this glass of water here. And we're just going to let it sit in here and see how absorbent it is and see what it absorbs. Then I'm going to show you the back of this. You can see this. This right here does not breathe at all. It actually still, it's just, it's plastic it's like real plastic there's no breathability in here so if you think about having this pad on all day long there's no airflow getting in there and since there's no airflow getting in here that means it is not allowing your vaginal area to breathe which leaves an area for you to be able to have infections or bacteria. Um, so think about that so this yeah I'm still having dust particles fly around everywhere it's I, <laughs> look it's still coming up we'll just stick that in there since that's a part of the absorbency see if it absorbs any so with that we're going to compare it to one of our cherished day use pads so if you look at this and you try to go underneath it's sealed together it does have this tab to help you open it but it's sealed unlike the other one so we're going to unseal it go to the tab pull it bring it open 
And this particular one is just the regular day use pad. It's not as long, the overnights are um, a little longer, but they are still thin, just like this. I'm going to take this tab off of here. And we're going to open it up and see what's on the inside of this pad. But if you notice right away, right here, this is the ion strip that's in it. It is a um, positive ion strip that is on the inside of here. Um, we're going to go in here and see. And let's see. Hmm. All righty. First of all. We're going to get through, and I think I said positive, I meant to say a negative ion strip. I'm sorry, that's my apologies on that. So when we get through this layer, we're going to open up the top layer of this. And I'm going to show you the ion strip on the inside of it. So the first thing we notice right away, um, you don't really see a lot of that particles flying apart. But what we do see is this top layer here is breathable. I can see you through that. So it breathes. So right there, just that alone, you have the breathability in here. Then you have the ion strip. So this one little strip is almost like um, magic superpowers. <laughs> I'm just joking about that. But this um, ion strip that's in here, this really helps with um, keeping your body in balance. It helps with um, reducing the amount of bleeding that um, you have in between your cycles. Some people use it for joint pains in their body. We've heard all kinds of things, but um, for those that suffer with fibroids and pains, this little strip is what's on the inside that helps with that. And so if we look at the rest of the pad, this is the absorbency that is in here. Um, this is the absorbency. So this compared to this, you know, there's a major difference in that. Um, so we're going to take this and we're going to stick this in another glass of water. And we're going to let it sit for a while just to see how absorbent it is. And in the meantime, we're going to look at the bottom half of this pad. Give me a second because the tabs under the bottom are sticking. Um, so I'm just trying to unstick them. All right. So when we look at the bottom of this right away, I don't know if you can see, you can't really see it in this video, but here it actually is breathable. You can see through here. Um, many say if you put some steam on it, you can actually see the steam come through. But it does have um, a breathability capacity in here, so it breathes, so it allows that vaginal area to still get air in it. Um, helps where you don't have to have um, back, a lot of bacterial infections. It cuts down on that. It allows it to breathe, so it cuts down on the odor. Um, so, yeah, just that alone. So we compare this part, and we look at what's left in this one and you can see that there is a major difference between these two this is really thin this is um, a lot thicker but this one does not actually have any breathability it is really just all plastic back there and this is not plastic this is breathable material that's in here so now what I'm going to show you is this is the super large pad overnight that we had and you saw that I put that probably about five minutes ago and this is the absorbency that's in here I mean that pad was really super and as you can see I don't want to pour it but as you can see it still has water in there so it didn't really absorb a lot that was in there. Now this one, I just, you just saw me literally just put this one. This is what just came out of here. This is the Cherish Pad. I literally just put this in here. 
So we're going to see. Um, it uh, <laughs> is absolutely no liquid coming out of that. Now you watch me do this. This is the first one. This is the super, super long. This is the one that came out of this bag that had all of the thick um, crumbling material that went flying everywhere. That's kind of all over my clothes. And you would think that it would have a lot more absorbency to it. But as you can see, there's still plenty of water in here. And then we take this one. I literally just put in here. And yeah, nothing. See what it did? It crystallized. It just turned into like the gel on a on a baby's on the baby's diaper. You know how it is when the baby's diaper gets wet, um, and it has the little pieces that's in there. They kind of turn like gel is what they feel like. But you see how absorbent it is. They have the exact same amount of water in them, but there is no water that is leaking out of here. So all I can tell you to do is try it for yourself. See what happens. If you're interested, visit my website, www.cherishustoday.com and let me know what you think. Take care. Peace.